Welcome back to Spur of the Moment. This is Jim, and today we're playing some more Battletech. Uh, we are hopefully going to find ourselves a uh, ally mission for House Liao. And... Wait, what? No, that's not what I said to do. So I did a little research. It's supposed to be in this desolate plains area. It's possible that it won't show up until this mission goes away. Luckily, that's only 12 days away, and we're uh, many flight days away from desolate plains ourselves. So I think we could probably head over that way. Yeah, let's let's head over that way. Twenty-two days. Yeah. I think that'll give us time to fix up a lot of our mechs. Yeah, we'll have everything but the grasshopper in working order. And, hmm, we don't really have a lot of wounded people right now. Um, oh, ah, yes, transitioning. No, oh, I never want to do that with you. Skinny dipping. Dr. Maroud rewinds and restarts the video. The timestamp says 2.38 a.m. Seven wet naked bodies come flying out of the new low-G pool installation and into the hall. Four women, three men, all laughing and bouncing off of each other. Well, this is way more nudity than I was prepared for this morning, Sir Meyer says. Yang laughs. Seriously? How am I supposed to work with these people now? At this point, Sir Meyer begins cracking up. Too true. Dr. Maroud is still deadly serious. Well, Commander, what are we going to do about this? Uh... Nothing? I feel like this is a thing that doesn't need to be addressed. Oh, great. Look, I'm willing to pretend that I never saw this recording. We're all adults on the ship. To be honest, I'd rather have naked swim night than clean up blood and teeth after another fight. If this is how they want to blow off steam, so be it. Outside of maybe posting a sign that says no running while wet, let's just erase it and get on with real business. Ying and Sir Meyer put on their serious faces and everybody nods. Darius hits a button. All done. Yeah, two increase in morale. That's real nice. She always says so. Oh, that one mission's still there. What else can we get for upgrades? Not much, right? Our morale's up at the next level, which I... I don't know if it's actually things that happen in each of those levels. Oh yeah, see that? New flashpoint in Desolate Plains? Yeah! There we go.
Come on. We're in system now, right? To use those super engines. Okay, so there's no restrictions here. It is going to be very difficult. Long engagement, consecutive deployments, lost tech items. That sounds cool. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Commander, thank you for agreeing to meet me on such short notice. Excuse me if I am abrupt. We have a serious developing situation planet side, and I need it handled quickly and discreetly. Uh, of course, Lady Marina. What's the situation? <clears throat> As part of a long-term operation, a covert team of... Miskirovka agents abducted key scientists from a Federated Sun's biological research group. One jump from Torian space and safety, their dropship was boarded by a Federated Sun's DMI Black Ops team. After space in the DMI operatives, the Maskerova agents were forced to undock from the jump ship and flee to the planet. <clears throat> Seems like the kind of crisis that would easily provoke a war. If it comes to that, my government, willing of course, disavow the operation. But it would be far better if we were able to salvage the situation. And that's where we come in. Exactly. My agents are hiding in a mostly decommissioned Federated Suns facility along with the scientists and the research materials. I need you to rescue them, clear a path to a landing area, and get them aboard a dropship. Why not just pick them up right from where they're hiding? <clears throat> the area is crawling with Davian units, all looking for my team. The LZ we've chosen for their escape is in a satellite blind spot where the surveillance coverage is patchy. You take off from there, and the Fed rats don't have the idea of the ship that pick up that did the pickup, so you can't intercept them at the jump point. Good call. Thank you for your vote of confidence, Mr. Bertrandin, Commander. I'll transmit the details of the mission to your command center. Contact me when you're ready to proceed and hurry, Commander. My people are in tremendous danger right now. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> So what's his first mission entail? Why is this taking forever? <sighs> Alright, a real straight up battle. Two lances closing in. I'm going to shoot for heavy salvage. Oh yeah, our weird black knight. We're not going to take that to the desert. Alright, well, for starters, let's get some more A-team people in here. Roman, you're you're further along than Glare. Oh. Okay. Wheel. Yeah, you seem to be a good third. Yeah, let's go ahead and field this thing. And this grasshopper looks fine. Fine, fine, fine. <clears throat> 4 LRM, 3 LRM, 4 LRM. Yeah, so we got plenty of missiles. Just a regular battle. We'll, we'll take it nice and slow, just in case we get a rapid deployment. <clears throat> As a request, Commander, we've ranged your interception well clear of the facility where my team is hiding. We've pinpointed the location of one of the two lances here. We're not sure, sure where the other one is, so stay alert. Okay. Wow, we can already see that there's at least an Orion over there. There we go. 
Yeah, and let's do our best to be behind this giant rock uh, group here. Oh, geez, that's an atlas. Oh, that's a freaking atlas. Oh, man, and it's going early. Oh, God. Someone's in for a bad day. really are on a path to try and knock this thing over. Oh, there it goes. Did sensor lock goes? Oh my god, I just realized this whole time, they haven't been able to see us. I've just been able to see them because of this amazing viewfinder that we have. Well, okay. Oh, a breaching shot. I don't want to hear that. How much does Vigilant cost? More than we got. Okay. Gonna take a quick jump up here then. I need that atlas. Okay, so the second alarm on this one does extra stability damage, that's great right now. Okay, it's ready to fall over. Perfect. No, it's moving. Unperfect. And it braced. Frick.
<sighs> and with that, my dreams of owning that behemoth at the end of this, pretty much dead. We'll have to settle for not getting completely killed by it. This, this feels safer. Get out of there. Hmm. No, it's not time for that yet. Oh boy. Well, that's ungood. Does look like that, doesn't it? Ugh. Come on, let's take out the leg. really is just a phenomenal shame to be blowing such chunks out of this beautiful war machine. That sure looked like it hit the center torso. Very much not what I'm looking for. What the hell is that?
Really? 16% to hit the head? I'll take those odds. A head hit and the torso gone. It's still up. Frick. And it's got nothing holding it together. Oh. So it's your leg that's all messed up, which is bad because that's where all your, well, some of your ammo is kept. <clears throat> all right, first things first. Thing even have weapons? Uh, it has some weapons still. There's there's no way to salvage this thing proper. All right. Well, at least we won't give them additional turns with it. I guess. If we can avoid it. Mm -hmm. yeah, but then I'm taking a turn with it. If it let us kill something else. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let it take a turn. We'll go smack this quick draw. Reduce some evasion. Line up real nice for the rest of the team. I'll miss you. Might as well get the max out of these little small lasers. Yeah! I guess this would give 
different facing at least. That was pretty not good. That wasn't so bad, actually. He may have upped our heat a little bit, but we're running cool, so we're just going to get behind him. Get rid of a couple of uh, lasers. See what we can rip out of them. Okay, didn't look like any of that hit the, the left torso. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. You know, I think we can spare a shot over that way. Let's make it a good one. <clears throat> wow, that was a good one. Holy cow. Took out the left torso with that? Thing was barely even damaged. Make sure it's sparking. I do not like it. Yeah, no way he survived that. center torso is not holding up well. <clears throat> oh, it's the leg? The leg's taking that? I mean, that's also not great, but...
Hmm. How do we want to proceed on this? I think the sprint's going to be our best call on that. Not delay. Okay. Throw a precision shot, make sure we're getting a lot of damage on that chest. Getting there. Probably don't have to go all the way on the chest, but I think we've taken enough risks so far this mission. Let's get the sensor lock on, uh, you. Oh, you pull you further back. They have an assault mech. Okay. You can probably get some good salvage out of that if we're careful. If we take out everything else without losing anyone we might make that work <laughs> yeah, we should focus this one down. As much as I'm curious what the other one is, focus will keep us alive. Okay, whatever they got is 95 tons. If it's a Banshee, I don't care. If it's Cyclops, I could totally get behind getting the Cyclops. 
Granted, it's not the extra cool command and control Cyclops, but... steps back might not be a bad idea. Even a single turn extra bus firing could mean a lot of difference here. Can he finish it? Mm, no. All right. Saved five missiles. See if that matters later on. Whoa, what did that eighty five eh, eighty five ton? Oh, crap. Got another Dragoon. See if the 95 comes in. It is a Banshee. The hit in the head. Oh, okay. It's got two PPCs. For a second, I was thinking this 85 could be an awesome. I don't know what it is anymore. I'm. Who knows? Who knows? Took that remarkably well. Hmm. As much as I want to get the dragon down, since it's got so much less armor, gotta listen to myself and focus. Just gotta pour everything on that banshee.
Wheel's doing a very excellent job tanking over there. Alright. I think what I'll do... I know I just mentioned focusing. But having gotten the Banshee down on the ground could be a decent turn to focus on the Dragon. Potentially do the same to it. We will not knock it down this turn. But uh, we might blow off some uh, important systems. All of its important systems. Really, real good about my life choices right now. Well, if I'm not going to get any innovation anyways, just just take them down. Oh crap. Almost out of missiles. I guess let's see what our 85 ton contender is. How iconic are you? Stalker? What? I totally want a stalker though. here. Oh. I should polish the Banshee off, I think.
Melee mode only. Wait, does it not get... Oh, it already went. Oh, it already went. Of course. That's going to be an unfortunate choice on their behalf. Aiming for a little bit of damage to the noggin. All right. Good. Let's see if we can't do that again. Wow, that's actually working. Oh, it's so much firepower. Give me another one. But, uh, actually, let's move closer while we do that. Yeah, it's gonna get a uh, pretty melee range up in here real quick. Okay, we can face pretty right here. I think that may keep us safe-ish. Yeah, but all things considered, that was not so terrible. Let's just get around. Leaving space open for other people to come in and melee. No! Yes!
Okay. Just incapacitated, though, right? Well done, Commander. I knew my confidence in you was not misplaced. However, there's no time for celebrations. We need to move on the facility itself before Davian realizes their patrol has it reported in. Injuries, damage max. It's not looking great. Okay, yeah. Beautiful Atlas piece. Three stalker pieces. And uh, no super special systems. I think I will go for this small laser. We'll need to replace what we lost after all. They gave us almost every mech part in the end. We're going to have a dragon that we'll probably end up selling. Draw part. Another Thunderbolt. Yeah, okay, we got a lot of mechs out of that. We actually got the cool medium laser. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, just send it to storage for now. Okay. So this is barely damaged. This is barely damaged. This uh, is more damaged than I want, but if I know in advance, maybe it's okay if I just keep her in the back. Uh, quicksand, go ahead and get in here. Just put glare in there. I didn't realize that this was actually our other good um, grasshopper that was under repair. So, um, all range or mega brawler. Well, you know, we'll go. We'll go mega brawler. Never did get that other ammo in there for the AC twenty. Do that later, but for now, <laughs> let's see what we do with uh, this <laughs> kind of already beat up Lance. Yay! So, this is a strange situation. We have to capture this facility that they're hiding out in, but is apparently still owned by the Federated Sons. Here's hoping they don't have turret support. Looks like exactly a turd I want to take out. Oh, large laser connected even? Huh. Let's take a chance. Pop. 
What? No, it had no. I don't know. It's gonna be fifteen missiles one way or the other. So we got a Zeus. And they have a lot of really chintzy mechs though. Okay, that's not a chintzy mech. Suppose if we're being smart, we should just focus down the Jaeger mech before it gets to do anything uncouth to us. No! That was an important one to hit with! Oh, you klutz! Okay, that's not so bad. That is a lot of damage happening, though. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, still shoot him. Let's just aim for the chest. Alright, so that's one we don't have to deal with.
a lot of progress on one we don't have to deal with. Might not have to deal with. Officially downed. I was really expecting it to move closer, then it didn't, so I figured it wouldn't, and now it has. So I don't even know anymore, but. We'll take all the blessings we can get, though. be pulling something of a falling back maneuver here. It's always going to be bad because of the weapon's damage. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Well. Still? Dude! That is the gun you cannot miss with. You gotta hit with the AC-20. It's That's the thing. for this world. I have a feeling we won't be able to use a large laser though. Yeah, that would be way too much heat. Hmm, I was really hoping for a completely destroyed. Hmm. Doesn't have much left for weapon systems, at least. Can I say quick, Sand, you're in the hot seat. You got a tank for us.
I just need two missiles to hit that Zeus in the center torso. Just two. Yeah, there it is. Good. Both torsos in bad shape. Well, that looked rather Jaeger Mechian. We can actually get the full valley off without overheating. Get those missiles in there. No. So close. Ow. If I just switched to your good side, did you just get through the armor? did hit the left arm. That's rather rude of him. Let's see if Glare can finish him off. Go figure. Yeah, I get ten. Ten in the center, guys. You get him in the chest, please. Oh, uh, okay. Fifty-five, a sixty, and some unknown heavier assault mech. We can get that one in sensor. Man, they are using a lot of dragoons out here. Dragons, just. 
Just period. Dragons. Now take this opportunity to cool off the uh, majority of the weapons, get some damage done. Just realize which way I faced their uh, left arm. It's not the right way. Damn it. What did you have in that arm? Nothing. Truly nothing? Oh. Cool. You have taken, uh, I think you've taken enough of a pounding though. Let's get you behind some cover. Okay, we can get some stray shots down on some guys. That's cool. Heat's going to be a real problem for us here. Pretty sure one of you is a Jaeger Mac. There we go. I'm pleased with that opening volley. Oh, I must be pleased that he can see us. Still got armor to spare on the catapult.
I wonder if this will affect him enough to actually miss any shots. Got a feeling the answer is no. Missed with a laser. That's that's a shot. Dangers of ammo. Well, so much for having armor to spare. Really, that's the right side that it you got through on? So weird. Increase our chances. Hey, he actually hit with the AC-20. Jesus. To uh, need to chill. Quite literally, cool off. Oh. I was not expecting jump jets there. Definitely not expecting jump jets. She's going to be useless. Lying on the ground, comatose. Do you think you can hit him? You don't know. I'm not giving you the. I'm not even giving you the opportunity to fail shooting that this time. We'll save it for the totally non-mobile turrets. Nice dropship. Oh, 
Let's see if we have enough missiles to kill one of these guys safely. Okay, yeah. I think these turrets we can get without any problem then. Stray shotting a bit more than I'd like. We'll add in the eh, you know whatever, it's the last of me. Just we'll just do everything. Just needs to uh, confer with them and we'll move on. <laughs> okay. What do you got for us? I will definitely take a Zeus. That's a cool kind of mech. Special weapons, decent LRM-15, and some some goodly lasers. But, um, you know, these gyros are great. I love them. They're effectively free as long as you have center torso space. Wow, that was the only mech piece they gave me? Oh, fine, I mean, it's no big deal. It's good even. Great. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well... I think I'd at least rather have it than this Vindicator. Probably. I've just finished debriefing the Mascarova team. They've only lost one of the scientists so far and none of the research materials, so matters are looking less dire already. Only lost one. The team leader asks, asks that we hold in place while we load the research materials. It consists of a half dozen stasis tubes, which are lost tech and thus must be handled delicately. Wait a moment. What exactly are these materials that they're in stasis tubes? Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, I can't divulge Mascarova operational secrets, but since you're involved in this phase of the project, I can brief you at least partially. 
were performing research on the specific genome of the ruling family of the Federated Sons. <laughs> You're not serious. Commander, she's saying those test tubes have living people in them. Dr. Murad is correct. My team abducted a small number of candidates from the Davian family and were planning to deliver them to the scientific facility where the research is actually being conducted. But loading the stasis tubes is going to take a while. In the meantime, the Federated Sons are closing on our position. I need you to defend the base while my people finish loading the loading process. Commander, this is unethical, illegal, and revolting, and it violates Article 6 of the Ares Convention. We should not be involved in the transports of those stasis tubes in any way. Well, it doesn't say it'll end the flashpoint by this, and I... It's a tough moral line. I really don't want to be shipping people around. Really, Commander? You haven't had any issue with reducing occupied facilities to rubble, killing dozens if not hundreds of people inside. Some of them almost certainly civilians. But... These few minor Nat Davian nobles, whom you would cheerfully murder if they were piloted in a battle mech against you, they are a bridge too far? Oh, okay. If I really, if I really stick my heels on the ground, we don't do it. Um... Well, I don't want to abandon the flashpoint, so let's see what she says to this. Alright, I suppose I don't have a choice, do I? It's either acquiescence or let my people die. Given those options, we'll leave the stasis tubes, but we'll have a further conversation after this cooperation is over, Commander. I'll send the details of the mission to your command computer. There isn't much time, so please contact me as soon as you're ready. How much, not much time, because I really want a bunch of days to fix shit. Got enough small lasers for one, so that's good. Let's go ahead and throw that gyro in there. These two more jump jets. Oh crap, I don't have any heavy jump jets. E. I guess I'll just leave two tons of free space on there and we'll get some. That is an LRM beauty right there. I'm 
strap some seat heat sinks into this thing and we are good to go. Although, a missile accuracy system would not be a bad idea there. It's two tons. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, let's do some quick-ish restructuring here. Oh, that actually was pretty quick. Alright, we definitely don't need this Berserker Jaeger Mac. is all this going to take? Kind of a lot. And people are going to take at least 10 days to heal up, which is actually really a good, a good amount of time. total days do we want to wait for this? Ah, uh, man, I kind of want to wait all of them. That's 35 days? Let's... Just get these main ones back. Oh! First harvest, Dr. Murad arrives at a briefing, her arms full of succulent red orbs. Look at the first harvest of our hydroponics garden. Are those tomatoes? Darius asks. She tosses him one and he bites into it, then sighs with satisfaction as he wipes the juice from his chin. They are. Tomatoes, strawberries, watermelons, squash, bez basil. Mm. And that's just the early harvest. We studied with studied nonchalance, Sir Meyer snatches her own tomato from Farrah's arm. The crew will be thrilled, Commander. How do we share the news? We'll throw a garden party. Damn. Dr. Murad stands at the center of the hydroparks gunner. She brushes a melon tendril away from her face as she addresses the company. I want to thank our Commander for making the creation of this hydroponics unit a, a priority. The fresh produce that we can enjoy is only the beginning, as we're also growing medicinal herbs for use in the med bay. And, as I'm sure you've noticed, the air in this pod is also much more enjoyable, which should serve to improve shipboard health. Farrah flashes you a smile, so I would like you all to take a deep breath and raise a tomato or strawberry or whatever you fancy in salute of our commander, and to our new garden. The entire crew lets out a lusty cheer, followed by the sound of contented munching. Yeah, that is easily worth 15,000 sea bills. Which, I just heard a figure the other day that a sea bill is effectively worth like eight, six to eight times as much as a US dollar? That is an expensive garden party. Still, totally worth it. 
Right, we'll get this last Orion online and then... Unfortunately, we'll have to wait until next video to finish up the Liao Alliance missions. Uh, this one's just taking too long, so I had to cut it here. Uh, but next time, we'll just spring directly into the action, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and have a good night.